train sits into four dollars and a little bit of money late for number five little miss chop it's into 760. just about all trapped here and there is the green light all bets locked away race number one favorite in the red a dollar 90. Off they go. Got away okay, Urban Khan. Showing good speed outside it. There was I'm All Stripes and Little Miss Chop goes up out three wide. Now check back and nearly fell. Going down the back. In front is Urban Khan. Encoded goes for the inside. And splitting the two is I'm All Stripes. They're well clear then of Wirral and Saint. Flip and Fly and Sky Tycoon. Around the turn in front is Encoded. It's got the first shot to bits. Encoded too good. By a length and three quarters to I'm All Stripes. Urban Khan third. Clocking in fourth was the reserve flip and fly from Warul and Saint. Well back in the field was a Little Miss Chop. Ace Contender and Sky Tycoon playing games just after the finish line. 4, 2, 1 and 9 we'll expect here. 4 encoded, a Brindle son of Collision and Transmit. Jeff Cumming owns and trains at Wolf Dean. Two is second, I'm All Stripes, a nice debut. A son of Bitchilly and Autumn Walsh for Sandra Giles. One is third, Urban Khan, Brett Lee Mantra style, Glenda Dart for Michael Laffey. Four, two, one, nine is officially fourth. 23.43 on the first. Just a reminder to everyone that the track surface was turned here late last week. So the times will be about 0.2 to 0.3 off over the sprint, we've uh, estimated, and probably 0.4 or so over the further distances. So 23.43, we'll see how that compares as the meeting wears on. It's 23.43, 4, 2, 1 and 9 are our placing. Starting signal given, runners being trapped here for race two, the mixed final. Good betting affair, despite only the six runners. And now number 10, Bordy's back into favourite and we'll call it the same. Green light on, stand by. Racing, Bordy's probably third or fourth away, getting squeezed up after the start. Ebony Benz goes through to take the early running race right away. Three in front of Legend Tycoon to second. Now Bordy's around the outside of third, uh, scrimmaging there with Prince Frederick. Then well back was Prince of Oste and Fawn Lorien sees them all. Still bobbing at this stage. Out in front is Ebony Benz. It's got a shot to bits by four. Second in is Legend Tycoon. Third in Prince Frederick. Fourth in Bordy's. And fifth and sixth across the line were Prince of Oste and Fawn Lorien. Much quicker race two, around 23 and 10 on the slow track. That goes to 23.12 with the fractional adjustment and our numbers are down in the race book order, 2, 3 and 4, officially fourth number 10. Two stripes, our winner Ebony Benz, a black bitch by Bright Ebony. You don't see too many of them these days out of On The Ball for Jeff Urain of Paradise Point. And fear me not at 2.90 ahead of 5, Nevea Beach at 4.30 and number 3, Maysoon Khan at $6.00. Just about all trapped away now for the Gem Hotel. Novice, great supporters here at Albion Park at the Gem. Green light on, all bets locked away. Favourite in the red. Away they go. Fear me not away as well as anything. Good away from the middle of the line, Nevaeh Beach. The two favourites go together and match motors. From into third then is Maysoon Khan. Italian Pedro behind them well back then would have been uh, uh, King Tut and only dancing back near the tail. Spearing off the track there was Fear Me Not and railing underneath them Italian Pedro coming out after it's San Rico Jasper. Italian Pedro from San Rico Jasper. Third in I think you'll find will be Nevaeh Beach just from Maysoon Khan obscured over on the inside side getting home again fear me not after losing the compass at the turn well back then would have been king tut and finishing near the tail of the field only dancing always rearward should be eight four five and three i think you'll find here eight pink italian pedro is a son of where's pedro an italian bella for jerry grishy at churchival cleared out to win in a time of 23 and 26. Four second, San Rico Jasper made it interesting in the dying stages. Bit chilly, a bit of crystal for Cheryl Clark at Burpengary. And five third, Nevaeh Beach, El Grand Senor Run Your Beach for Glenda Dart at Dulgigan. Eight, four and five and ten. Anyway, green light on for the Fears of Phonic at stud. Favourite, the red. Away they go. Irish made headed early. He's in a lot of trouble now. On the outside, Total Fantasy rushes across. It gave him the fly from Cosmic Driver going to second. They're six lengths clear then of uh, Snippy Silky. Irish made well back. The other reserve downhearted and seeing them all to run amok. It's a race in two. S Snippy Silky comes out after Total Fantasy who bobs. And now Cosmic Driver goes whooshka. Cosmic Driver too good. In second heart. 
uh, spot is Total Fantasy. Irish made a distant third. Probably clocking in fourth then would have been Snippy Silky and then came to run amok and it's finished near the tail of the field with downhearted in around 23 and 2. Ten eight one three. I'd expect here. Ten. The reserve getting up. There was good money for it late. Cosmic Driver, a daughter of Cosmic Rumble, as the name suggests, out of the good bitch JJ's dancer. That's its second win here at the track and distance, and it's fourth from ten starts for Lee Wiley at Condong. Eight second. Total Fantasy. Premier Fantasy. Fresh Fantasy for Alex Stevens at Wakeley. One third Irish Maid. Uncharacter missed, uh, uncharacteristically missed the start. That was the end of her winning chances. Made to size Irish gain for Sandra Giles. 10-8-1, three is fourth. That is Snippy's Silky, which is a bit of a mouthful. 10 8 one, three, 23 22 our time. 23-22, sectional times of 10-83 and home in 12-39. 10 23-22. Our margins were two by have a chance to the one as well. Starting signal given. They're moving in quickly here for race five, the Everton Park Hotel fifth grade. Quick check on the favourite into 2.30 now, zipping Herf. Green light on, bunny to the boxes. Good luck if you've had a bet. Racing, zipping Herf only midfield away. Good speed from the three there. Jilly's Flash having its first 600 uh, go straight to the lead. Going to second now, the favourite zipping Herf. To third then is Ventura from Giappelli. General Bacon as well back in the pack going past it. Now is Poetic Mover and seeing them all win some blackie in the reserve string time. Halfway home, on top now, zipping Herf. Got to the lead from Jilly's Flash. They're a couple clear then of Ventura who's coming home nicely and then in behind them getting into trouble, Giappelli. But around the turn, zipping Herf still in front. It'll hang on at its first 600. There's a nice debut. Zipping Herf first, Ventura second. Third in was Jilly's Flash, fourth in General Bacon, fifth in Poetic Mover. Then came Giappelli, who struck trouble at the turn, in company with Winston Blackie in string time. And 35.60, not a bad gallop on the slow track. To the stripe, Sipping Herf will be our winner. Win number 10 from start number 23, and it's seventh win here at headquarters, and one out of one at the 600. As I mentioned before the race, Mantra Lad or Catcher the Breeding, Shane Ellis of Moray Field for Marty Hallinan and Partners. Eight second Ventura doing its best work late, a daughter of Sir Florian and Hal Zani for Robin Palmer at Nundiri. Three and similar price about number six, Capera Bandit. But the favourite will run is number five, wearing the yellow Viridian for Cole Curtis. A daughter of El Galo and Noir Rose. Just about all trapped. There is the green light. Power to the bunny. All bets locked away. Race six, favourite the squeeze. Racing. Viridian, as usual, began quickly, but not as quickly on the inside as the reserve Warul and Spirit. But now Viridian puts the port to the floor. Viridian goes three clear of the second elect, not held on its hammer. Well back then is Warul and Spirit going past it. Moss Gambo into the fray. Further back then was Capera Bandit spot on gold and seeing them all at this stage, Hot Muffin. It is a good battle up front and taking over now is Not Held. Not Held raced away and Not Held is going to hang on a win from Moss Gambo second, Viridian in third, fourth in was Capera Bandit, then spot on gold in company with Hot Muffin and uh, tailing them in there. I don't know what happened to Dodgy Bob. It's finished well behind the main pack. Eight, three, five, and six, our numbers here. Eight pink not held, a strong chasing display, a black son of McGambo and Velocity Cloud for Shane Ellis of Morrow Field and the Velocity Lodge Partners. Good day to Steve Williams, uh, obviously the head of the Velocity Lodge Partners. Three second, Moss Gambo. McGambo got you covered, so it's a McGambo side Quinella. Moss Gambo is trained by Kev Bryan at T Tiaro or Tyro. And uh, five third, Viridian after showing early speed, just tied the last little bit, is El Galo Noir Rose for Cole Curtis at Atkinson Dam. Desley Metcalf here. Good luck with uh, Venetio here, uh, Desley. Son Terry the trainer. And it is the popular elected $1.80. Green light on, all bets locked away. Stand by, favourite in the stripes. 
racing. Venetia away as well as anything. Now sweeping to the lead down the outside is Zipping Hannah. Zipping Hannah goes two in front of the reserve. Elite mates uh, Capalabar winning yesterday to second. Venetia is inside of Euroa Jasper. Well back then the rest of the field headed by Honeywebb, Bellissimo Lady and King Czar. But around the turn bolting away is Zipping Hannah. Zipping Hannah too good. Bellissimo Lady doing its best work late. Third in I think you'll find Euroa Jasper and Venetia an even run for fourth. Behind them then was elite mates got tired well back in the field was uh further back a uh, honey web and kings are near the tail i actually commented to someone this afternoon when i was going back through my selections for the meeting that i might have left the winner out and that was zipping hannah and sure enough up at bob's at double figure odds well done to uh, ian hogan preparing a 12 dollar 10 winner there Zipping Hannah is a daughter of Big Daddy Cool. Good to see a couple of the Big Daddy Cools still going around out of a bitch called Agent Gibbs. Steve Nelson is the owner. Ian Hogan at Churchill, the trainer. Five second, doing its best work late. Bellissimo Lady. Fear Zephonic. Matisse's Angel for Darren Titmarsh. And seven is third, Euroa Jasper. Token Jet. Corrigan's gift for Glenn Smith at Park Ridge. Officially fourth, went actually the way of number nine. Elite mates hang on, hanging on for fourth. So please note the numbers eight, five, seven, and nine. Eight, five, seven, and nine. Our time is 23 and 21. 23-21, and it was a length both ways. Being suggests there's four or five strong winning hopes, according to the market assessors, and there is our starting signal. Odd boxes, Jewel em Up, Dell's Delivery, Bill's Mystery and Kelly Charm. Even boxes, Franklin Fury, Step Up Lass, Hara's Rocket and Harry Tycoon. Last injection of funds goes in. Let's just see for it to come through. Around about the $3 Harry Tycoon in box eight. Stand by. Green light on. All bets locked away. Racing. Harry got away nicely from the outside. Is going to head for the early lead. Just held out there by Julem Up, who goes through the inside. Now going to second. Franklin Fury up the rails. Harry Tycoon trapped off the track in third. Then step up last. Dell's delivery. Wide boxes. No chance. Harris Rocket and Kelly Charm around the turn. Still bobbing on the outside. Julem Up goes to the lead from Franklin Fury. Julem Up from Franklin Fury. Third is Harry Tycoon from Step Up Last. Dell's delivery in behind them with Hara's Rocket and Kelly Charm with Bill's Mystery maybe beating one or two to the line. One, two, eight, four will be our numbers here. One, two, eight, four. One red, jewel them up. A son of Jewel Enforcer and I'm Not Blue wins for the eighth occasion at the track and distance and 16 wins all up over the 54 career starts for Glenda Data, Dal Geigen and owner Anthony Boland. Two second, Franklin Fury. Where's Pedro Arara Dreams for Sandra Hunt? Eight third, Harry Tycoon. Knock and Norris Oceanic Tycoon. Elite, Misunderstanding. Two up, Tuffy and Big Dak. Evens a fear no more. Jedi Jawa. I'm bewitched and naughty, you know. Good luck if you're having a bet in the Sky Channel third and fourth grade, the penultimate and the last time the 395 metre boxes are in use this evening. 2.10 the readout, Pedro's Elite. 4.90 Big Dak, 6.30 Fear No More, green light on, favourite the red. Away they go. Pedro's Elite tries to hunt up the inside. Fast out. Two up Tuffy. Two up Tuffy now tackled on the outside by Naughty Uno you know who takes the lead. Naughty Uno you know by three to two up Tuffy. Hooking to the outside. Pedro's Elite after getting into a bit of trouble. Behind them then was Fear No More. Jedi Jawar and I'm Bewitched with Big Dak. Spinning the bend. Scooting away again is Naughty Uno. You know. It's going to get tackled by Pedro's Elite. Oh, that's a tight go. I'm going to go the favourite in the last bound. Pedro's Elite. Put the head on the chopping Bock will go one Pedro's Elite from eight Naughty You Know. Misunderstanding railing home hard for third from Fear No More, two up Tuffy, Jedi Jawar and I'm Bewitched. Photo, but I think the Reds got it and it has. One, eight, three, two will be our numbers. One red, Pedro's Elite getting up in the very, very last bound. A son of where's Pedro and Elite Angel? Paul Graham up the road at Doombin, trains for the DGRT partners. Congratulations, hearts in the mouth there for a long while for favourite backers, but it got up right on the line. Eight Naughty Uno you know, gave its backers a good sight for uh, the uh, daughter of May Desires and Tricky Uno, you know, Lee Wiley at Condong, and three-third misunderstanding, Bombastic Shiraz, Capetius Felia, 
Mick Brewer of Wolf Dean. Officially fourth is number two, Fear No More. Just a problem with the semaphore board. There it goes. The one's back in the frame now. 1832. 1832 in 2347. Superior R8, Raven Pearl, the odds. Evens will rule an easy passing pause. Rare attitude specify. The get out stakes. Favourite have thrown in. Uh, punters have thrown in for number seven, Raven Pearl. Green light. Away they go. Raven Pearl began very nicely. Up the inside, holding the ground. There is Valley Babe and we're all an easy. Favourites trapped out three wide at this stage. Is going to get around. Good navigating there by Raven Pearl. Takes the lead by two. Chick Quickly going out after it is passing pause. Up the inside then was Valley Babe in company with Specify trying to run on. Out wide on the track then is R8. Warul and Easy drifted back with rare attitude. But still giving at this stage is Raven Pearl. Here's the double for Ian and Kerry. Raven Pearl chasing keenly wins by four. Second in is passing pause. I think Specify third from Brother Superior making ground late. Warul and Easy in behind them with Valley Babe. Rare attitude and R8. R8 and they've stopped the clock around 30 and 50 a good gallop in the last 30 and 55 is the official time on the get out stakes seven black the winner Raven Pearl for owner Terry Hines good day Terry up there on the Sunshine Coast Ian Hogan the trainer at Churchill with partner Kerry Bouffier this is a daughter of Surf Laurie now to the great producer Ultra Swift and makes it